All right, here is a detailed overview of the F-35 uh, E-Flight uh, Ultrix 600 uh, electronics installed. So it's fully 3D printed. Um, I designed the whole thing myself and it's got full flying tails. Everything prints very, very easily. Lightweight PLA for the front nose, the hatch, magnetic. Uh, obviously it's sliced here. So this whole section is one piece. Here's the next with the wing root. So you get a nice um, strong, strong bond that way. Uh, it's obviously sliced here. And then here's where it's a little different from what you'd be used to. This here is a PLA print because you need some strength for the um, for all the hardware. You you print most of the like the, the servo horn. Um, let me show you. So you print the the servo horn with the ball and socket out of PLA. The tube, uh, this the pivot tube uh, adapter out of PLA. So it's all solid. And then the um, this is obviously lightweight PLA. The, the the full flying tail is lightweight PLA, but it's um, I think it went up to five percent infill on that. Uh, everything else is like three percent because it doesn't need to be that strong. And then let's see if you can get some some light in here. So everything is is going to be included. So there you can see. Uh, there's a six millimeter carbon tube that you're going to need to, um, to go through. You basically just glue the tube. It's, it's, it's almost friction fit. You don't really need much, uh, glue at all, but the carbon tube goes into the, uh, into the rear, t uh, full flying tail. And, um, and then you glue the, the servo horn to the carbon tube. And then just, this is all just CA glue. And then it just, the, the carbon tube slides in through the smooth PLA adapter and it comes out there about a, a half an inch. And then you just put the little, the little um, either PLA or lightweight PLA little locking ring onto the carbon tube and you CA glue that. It's very self-explanatory. You can see it better there. Um, so that's the carbon tube in the middle and then the uh, the little lock ring that you just CA glue everything together and then it's all it's all buttery smooth that way. So um, the all up weight for this bird is 360 grams. So it's only uh, maybe 100 grams heavier than the uh, than the Ultrix, but it honestly it it floats almost as well and it has the has honestly it has better flight characteristics. I don't understand the whole crazy pitchiness of the of the Ultrix. It flies great, don't get me wrong. You do crazy things with it, but this thing just flies it's stable. Um the oh yeah, okay. So I engineered some uh let me flip it over. So it's all simple to build, really really simple to build. So you're gonna remove your um, your props, uh, your motors, and the motor mount here from the Ultrix, and it's and, and this slot is perfect size so that this plastic slides right in. It's 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 gonna be tough at first. You're gonna have to dig with your nails a little bit to get all the uh, the stringing out of there. But you just slide this thing in there. It can almost you almost don't even need glue. But I just put one, two, three little drops of CA. And um, if you want to go crazy, I can I can make these a little bit bigger. If, I might make these a little bit bigger before I release the files, just so you can hide them in the wing if you want to get crazy with it. Um, uh, it's 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 really up to you. You guys, let me know if you want bigger channels. Uh, servos they literally just CA right onto the side of the fuselage, and there's your there's your ball pivot right there. It just snaps right onto the the 3D printed. Uh, horn right there and then of course here is this is magnetic that's magnetic little magnet slots you just kind of dig it out with your knife I have the little holes there in the file so when you print it you're gonna have little holes 
right here and here for the magnets and also under here. But you just might need to take like an X-Acto knife and just dig them out a little bit deeper because the printing of the lightweight stuff is never perfect. And, uh, and right here, you can see there's the tray. So battery lead uh, comes off the back of the tray, just like the Ultrix. It has to be the, the top of the, um, of the open part of the tray has to be facing up. So it's basically on the roof of the plane. There's a flat, there's a flat shelf right there printed into the, uh, into the center of it where it, it lays totally flat. So a couple drops of, of CA glue, right, let me see. In here and in here, right on the bottom of the tray, we'll hold that thing in with no problem. So that's, uh, those are all the basic details of it. Um, it flies absolutely fantastic. It's, it flies just as good as any e-flight plane that they, that they have, uh, they have put out there. I haven't flown all of them, so I can't say it's, uh, it's the best in the world, but it's very maneuverable. It floats. It's uh, extremely low wing loading because this is a um, the uh, F-35C variant. And um, I think I chose the right airfoil. Uh, now I can show you the characteristics of the airfoil. You can see the there's a degree of positive incidence and two degrees of negative washout for slow flight. You can see that, that curvature. Um, and... Uh, it's, it's just a great flying plane. It's just, it's so much fun. It's going to be my go-to from now on. And, uh, and coming up next, I have the, um, the twin 30 millimeter, uh, E-Flight, uh, UMX A10 coming. And I have a, um, you guys can let me know if you think you want me to do an F-22 with the dual EDFs similar to this. Or, uh, let's see, I was thinking about a MiG-29 and doing some thrust vectoring, something that E-Flight needs to do, and uh, they don't. So, uh, A-10 electronics, tw uh, twin 30 mill millimeter EDFs in either a MiG-29 with thrust vectoring, um, or maybe the F-22 and, and do some thrust vectoring there, because you have some more servo channels with the, uh, with the A-10, I believe. It should be coming in a few days, and then I'll design the next plane. So I hope you enjoy this and uh, let me know if you have any questions.